Hola, que tal? I'm wearing shades today, man. I, I'm, I'm liking them. I'm you know liking them. We got Alan Roth here. But no, no, in honor also of a little bit of Ultra. Ultra, ah, there you go. Ultra, ultra bar, he's still going. Of, still going in but Kiko's most, mind. Yeah, most, but most because of Alan, he's a uh, nightclub royalty. And, uh, you know, you like to work shades in the club. And, it, and all his restaurants now are real shiny, so I got to have my glasses on. How you doing, Alan? I'm happy to be here, gentlemen. Thank you very much Alan, for having good me. Good to have you, my brother. Man, I don't come morning? to Coral Gables enough, so it's nice to be here. Oh. Well, yeah, we, we're, we're bringing Brinko, you to the Brinko. other side. That's right. To the other side. You're crossing the bridge. Yeah, how you Coming doing, to us How's everything? I feel good. I feel good. I survived uh, Miami Music Week. There you yes. go. Yes. I told some uh, a few people the other day. I go, you know, it started off as Winter Music Conference. I remember. They're true. like, what? What? What is and that? The they beach, didn't even understand. On the beach. I went to the first what the one. Hell? Me too. Winter yeah. Music Conference. Me too. Yeah. Me too. It was amazing time was actually. Amazing. But you know what? It's a good. It was a good week, and nobody gets hurt. It's not like some of the other weekends that we have here. Well, right? but that's how it sh that's how it should have continued. Yeah, that's right. You, know, you have a couple faints yeah. and stuff. People getting overheated. I'm or sure there was blood, a few. That's... Sure, there was a few overdoses somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. but nothing somewhere. that made the news was important. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Right. And uh, and how's it feel? How how you uh, doing with your new spots and everything like that? How you? I, I you feel been busy? Um, I feel great. I um, two two new spots. One's two a little over two years. The one's a little over a year. And I feel rejuvenated. And I have a lot of energy and. I'm, I'm happy to be alive. You know? Yeah, because you had a gap there, right? You had a bunch of spots, took a little break. You, I know you're a world traveler. 20 years. I did 20, 20 years pretty hard. And then I woke up one day and I said, I, I got to take a break. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, uh, and I did. And the it truth is. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Well, the truth is, I, 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 I didn't think that I would ever get back into the nightlife business. We talked about that. I thought years maybe ago. there'd be hospitality a little bit, potentially, but not really. And. Um, I, I eight and a half years. I woke up and I was like, "Okay, I want to do this again." I remember well, having a conversation with you at one of your spots at Lincoln Eatery, and you said, "You know, Kiko, I think I might jump back in, right? But I'm going to take it slow with a little rooftop party, sky yard." So that was uh, that. That, that was yes, yeah, so the, the the nest that turned into sky yard. But I actually had nothing. I was just a consultant. I understand for that. that, but that's yes. where I believe but you that, started the truth to get is, the itch. That yeah. was what did it. That that's the truth. That because was what it did. Because then, boom, it. you went hard. I went hard. <laughs> I went hard. Well, but I think that part of, part of that what Kiko is also mentioning is like what you just said right now. You 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 did that for so many years, and that was something that we were talking about, you know, before camera here. And I remember when you and I just just saw each other right now, and it just took us. We we, we went back to so many things yes. that we mentioned twenty places in less than five minutes. That's right. Because we all and and you said something where I said I wanted you to mention here again what put Miami back into you know this nightlife into this fact of what you said we were just like what like uh, a bohemian uh we went from 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 a bohemian town to a global to a global town yes. i love that yeah. i love that yes. you know to kiko's point you know where all the places that you have opened up now has been that said okay wait a second there's a need for this again and that's a conversation you and i had before that that's what used to be the past which was there were so many spectacular places in Miami that you know you just didn't know where to go that night. It's you true. know between places to go eat, places to go party, a club. I mean, we mentioned what thirty places in yeah, Boston. Absolutely. I mean, God knows we probably had drinks together. I don't know how many times in the places we just mentioned, but I love what you have done to the places now. You know, bringing in, incorporating some of that history from the past. For for us, so I, I partnered with a group. When I yeah. sort of had this yes. moment, I, I realized I, I wanted to do this again. And I knew I couldn't do it on my own. Right. Um, so I partnered up with a, a fantastic group. The, the the lead is a guy by the name of Tim Petrillo. The company is called The Restaurant People. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in Fort Lauderdale, they have 10 different concepts. And I called Tim early in the morning, and I said, Tim, if I want to open in Miami, would you partner with me? He said, absolutely. So... For us, it's been super important and strategic to open the type of places that we, one, want to be part of right. and are, are excited and about. Miami. And are Miami. Yeah. That's right. But but unique in their own way. No, because a lot of people say, oh, it's everything is so expensive. Oh, it's so over the top. It's a Miami restaurant. Yeah. Well, Giselle right? is a Miami restaurant. And you Absolutely. have to understand what the difference, right? Because people think, oh, whatever. It, it, it's... I'm not saying it's not for locals, but it's a place where you want to feel the Miami vibe and get the whole Miami experience. So it's going to be a little bit over the top, but that's Miami. You know what I'm saying? But it's also it's also approachable too. 
I mean, there I are. Know how people are scared. Boss. Are, I got to tell you. Of course, you're on top of so night eleven. You're on top. Bro, look, that was exactly, look, bro. Like look, the, you, it, you're <laughs> in the center <laughs> of the volcano. You understand? Now? Now? Like, what's for dessert? Uh, yeah, downstairs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, it's true. I love it. I'm, I'm not it was right. a very. I will be honest. We 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 took months and months and months to figure out what was Giselle going to be. I know. I was there that process. Yeah, that's true. I was there. You know, you're on top of eleven, which is in its own right. One of the most incredible, spectacular places you that's ever been there invented. That is, that's something there it's prior ever been that open. Is, that didn't right. survive. There have been a few places that didn't that survive. Did, yeah. didn't survive. So it that's wasn't right. the beginning. It, it, Someone you know, survived. Yeah. So the thing right. it wasn't just putting there and something happens to be there. Like right, right. It, if it, it had sucks, to be it's right. still going to fall. It had to be right. For those that don't know, eleven, you know, you well, know, eleven is a is is an upscale, upscale place. Yes. That's you know right. What I'm saying very upscale place. It's it's a place that you can even go with. You know your significant other, right? You know what I'm saying. But there are, at, at, there at are people that day. are scared. At any time of the there day, there are people that are scared yeah, of them. That won't yeah. go to the building because they don't know what it is. Correct. And also, it's true. <laughs> it's true. They think it's, it's like one the, thing. The devil's playground. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the, the, but the reality <laughs> is, is we wouldn't have done it unless we had we have our own separate entrance. I think it's you know. I so, think it's a fantastic collaboration because. If you don't even want to go downstairs, you don't have to. You don't have to. Whoever nice wants place. to can just go down and go Ninety downstairs. percent of our audience doesn't go downstairs. Way. Yeah, no, I'm saying like, hey, I'm not <laughs> old, but I'm not that old. But around like, the back, around the back, in a good way. Yeah, the good way. Check out how they're doing, you know. And you know, make sure everything is a little research. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, but 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 to your point, yes. I mean, it's 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 very intimidating. It, and it's a good place, but I do feel the Miamians do want to explore these places. You know what I'm saying? It's places Absolutely. that... Listen, tourists travel for it. And if you want to like have a great special night, it's perfect for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, I, you know, I can't compare myself. I come from a different world. My world is I like to go out to places. Yeah, me too. Like I told you yeah. earlier, you know. And, and I, you know, I, I so happen to get married to, to a, a person that she is exactly like me. We like to go and, mm -hmm. and try out the new places. You're party people. Well, but it's not so much party, but you want to know where you, your place is. It's like the, the people, you know, you look at these programs and people like are from New York. Oh, we went to dinner here, went to dinner there, went to dinner here. Went. Those are New Yorkers. Right. Because the New Yorkers and that, I really yeah. praise them. They really, really, you know, support all their restaurants. And I think that that's a Miami thing that we have to be doing. Look, yeah. I go out all the time. Yeah. I mean, forget about my own places, but I want to see what everybody's doing. Sure. Yeah. And sure. obviously I'm in the business, so I'm curious. But at the end of the day, I love being out. Yeah. I love checking out new restaurants and trying food. And I want to mm. be inspired. I love design. Design for me, how a place functions. That's, that's that's, is that's the key. most that's key. for me it's the that's most key. important thing that's key. Absolutely. you know yeah. that's for sure when i walked up to rosa sky yeah i wanted to ask you about rosa yeah. so so okay so my my part so the guy that i partnered with the company tim and, and the, the restaurant people he take we, we meet at michael's genuine for lunch one of michael my, one of my favorites michael schwartz michael. we love you um by the way one of my biggest mistakes michael came to my office when he was out of uh, partners with uh, Nemo and okay. that day. Yeah. And he, we drove around for two days looking for spaces. He comes to me. He goes, I want to open this. This is the menu. It's called Michael's. And I said, let's let's go. I was there week one. I, let's go. And I didn't invest. I got too busy oh. and I had my own things. Literally, we laugh about it to this day. But Michael's, fast forward. Michael's, Michael's probably the, the pioneer uh, he's of the Florida man. Cuisine. He's the man. I love him to death. Well, but Especially how you put everything else also on the map. Uh, I was there. Uh, he he design helped design us design district. district. We've won. By, everybody copied him on the course. air. Yeah. Tomato displays. Oh, oh, okay. There's a million things that he's. <laughs> Best idea is the copied idea. Tell me about Rose. Right. Because Rose is one of the reasons I brought my shades. Because that place is so beautiful. And so bright, so yeah. colored in life that you got to wear shades. Well, okay. So so my partner, we have this lunch and he says, there's an opportunity to take this one deal. It's the first one we can do. We get in his car, we drive and he goes, do you see but that you building? Up yeah. no well, the building, the building was going up still. You look up. Brand new building. Fast forward, we go up, we see the space that's still, still being developed. And I said... Let's make this happen. This is spectacular. It. It'll be great. Let's Spots. do it. Coincidentally, the guy who was the developer and over owner of the building dated my sister 30 years ago. Wow. 30 so years. Hopefully that ended well. It ended very well. <laughs> so we got the deal. We nailed it. Done. Six months later, we we're going to open. That night, though, I got home and I took pictures and I went home and I had this moment and I started playing around with names and ideas and concepts and literally after a night of... Uh, of sitting at my desk and 
um, drinking some wine and s- smoking some fun stuff, I, I, I came up with Rose of Sky. Yeah. And the, the, the whole idea for me was I had – once I decided I wanted to open something again, I went out and I went everywhere like we're talking about. And I felt like Miami was missing this sort of like very feminine sort of narrative for a space. That's what it feels like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, how did you feel when you saw your first drone shot being shot? Uh, like it night. was incredible. Those shots, incredible. It's, there's no more uh, uh, bigger video that explains Miami than those Rose Sky drone yeah, shots at night. That's true. And you Going the through in, the water and, the and then Rose coming out the elevator. That oh, whole yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. If that, it gives a vibe. I yeah. think that's the best way yeah. to say feminine bar and. It is. Oh, it's designed. Yeah, but, oh, the, the women I love they it. heard you. All the ladies are there. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the women love it. The women love it. I'm married, it. but the women do love it. Well, that's fine, but there's nothing wrong with that. I know. You I know, always, I you know, you, you, you want to go, that. you want to go to, pl- but you want to go to places it's like that as well. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. You want to go to beautiful places. Hey, for us big guys, it's breezy up there, right? Because we're up top. Even in the summer. Even in the summer, it feels good. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's high enough that you're wasted. You don't want to get too close to that real. That's how open an area. That's what makes it so nice. Yeah, it's a little scary. It is a little scary. Scary out there if you're shit faced. Yeah. I ain't going. Yeah. Well, we can just put a little electri- electrical yeah, thing. That, that, a little well, shock. Yeah, that goes, I yeah. wish we could. And the girls that get up there to take those pictures, they're leaning as far yeah. back. Like, you know, you're gonna have to do a little net. We, yeah, we, yeah, fuck around and we find wanted out. to, but city was like, no, it's legal, it's fine, no problem. Yeah. Thank God, knock on wood. No, 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 no issues. Knock on wood. Giselle you know. just turned one year old, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we're we're great. Uh, this is so crazy. Rosa Sky Giselle opened the same day a year later. Yeah, two years, two and one, right? So one year and then two years. So I mean, two, Rosa Sky is two years and a month. It opened yeah. in February, and then Gis, uh, Giselle opened exactly a year later, and that fell in our that opportunity sort of fell in our lap too. It was probably the eclipse coming it was, into into into. Uh, into hey, here. listen, they're not far apart, but they're two <laughs> totally different. Totally things. different. They're both hugely successful. Yeah. You would kind of worry about I don't know, but I mean, so it's right. like two separate animals that two are concepts firing off at yeah, the same yeah. time, bro. So yeah. that's that's amazing. Let's talk history. Well, listen, do with we really want to get into history? Yeah, with this man, with you, with, you know, because there was a gap, right? He was hot, hot, hot. Then he took like a 20-year travel thing. But we it's all do. Not his that arms. Long, not that long. Whatever. Not that the long. stories are all there. Look at his arms. They're all, all wherever he's they're, traveled. They're all tattooed they're on him. They're, they're all are, there. They're so all I'm not talking shit. Look, yeah. He's even got the fucking Miami Beach logo. Yeah, that old school. That's right. So th- this is about, this is about 10 years right here. That, this is about 10 years for us to be here. We're going to do like five podcasts just to cover this markings. It's so fun. It's funny because you say the history, but... You know, when we were together, you guys were wrapping up another one. We we started talking about just, again, not just the vibe in Miami, but the places in Miami, the the architecture. When when nobody really knew, you know, what you were getting into in Miami, the beach side and all that bunch of stuff. When it was hot. When, I mean, listen, Miami is still hot. But there's a, there was a dead zone. There was a dead spot. Right, and I believe like it's a when, dead a dead well, period. You mean? Yeah, I think when we were raising our kids, right? You, your kids well, were older. You're, no mean, kids for me. No, I'm saying. I, well, then, well, in the kids. Listen, I, I, don't I, know, sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know about. I don't know about dead, dead. I mean, just areas here. I mean, not for that we me, didn't go out and we're not social. I'm just saying for the beach because everybody got scared of the. Here's beach. what I think. I think a few things. Number one yeah. is if you look at Miami's history, right. Like it's it's been like this, correct? It's always been like this, right? You know, there are moments yeah. where it goes up, and the world is looking at Miami, and there's but then there were some places in Miami shrink. that were good, and then that one would go down, and then the other one submerged right. in some look, other. The areas. truth is, you know, if we talk about nightlife, yeah, what we're, look, it was only South Beach for so years, right. correct? You had exactly. one spot in Coconut Grove, That's you had it. one spot in oh, North Miami, it. whatever, etc. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was only it, South it, Beach. It was all South That's Beach. the reality. That's all South you know, and then. The rest of Miami grew up, you know. Evolving. Evolving. People evolving. started you know. going to the beach, I and mean, then you had the little rivers blow up. The, wait, all, all, those little, all those little Wind areas. Wood, downtown. Well, but to like his point, we, you know, when we started, I mean, I, I remember going to the beach when there was only two places, which Paparazzi or Italian, and, and Cleveland, that's it. Alex Fox was just playing on the sidewalk. Did you just date yourself? And, no, did, it doesn't did, matter, did, brother. I have no did, issues man. because let me tell you something. It was a long fucking if, there's, time if, there's, if there's anything <laughs> that we can say, it's fantastic, spectacular era. And I would not change oh my it. God, the I would not change it bar? at all. And those Marlin are the ones that started coming back again the spot you worked at the, the story about you with news cafe the, the first day the news cafe opened i was the first cashier I mean, they had i took the 
the tables out of the boxes yeah. with I was Mark 13. Soika. I couldn't get a table I was there 13. for like five years, right? Well, well, well in the I beginning, was, it was it, it took was some good, time. It, it was the place that you, you would know, go at three and four o'clock in the morning. Like Cardoza. Yeah. You know, so, right. you know, right. again, but those are places that started evolving after years, you know, like to his point. You know, all those places when the Delano, everything started coming down. I the mean, Delano the Delano Hotel. was like... Was was a landmark. It opened it's in still, 1995. Still, I mean, and You're I told the story. And I was, I was, I was, I was a, I was a server there at the Blue Door Hotel the first day it opened, and still, what, what we were just talking about was that moment is when it shifted. It shifted. Yeah, yeah. it went from this bohemian tropical sort I of love paradise. That. I love that. I to love that. this the, the global city we started getting recognized yeah but again to your point it was a lot of people that came from new york like a yeah Ian Schrager. I, I i remember that one of the first tables i served this is a true story if one of the first tables i well two stories up on the, the, the opening <laughs> night it's crazy you can get to three and four by the way yeah. well the first table i ever served at the delano blue door hotel was ian schrager and his wife rita it's wow. the same table okay and we just talked about ingrid caceres yeah. madonna yeah Ingrid, sure, and, and and Madonna was with the guy. I think his name was Carlos, the dancer guy, yes, or something yes, like that. Yes, yes, and it yes. was it was it was the five of them, and a guy by the name of Brian McNally, who was the restaurant tour of the Blue Door. Oh. His brother is Keith McNally, who yeah. has pastis sure. and, and a few Balthazar in New York. Yeah, but before Keith was the man, Brian was the man, and I served that table, and it was the first table we had at the at the Delano Hotel, and it was like the world. Was watching. I mean, yeah, I literally, it was a Philippe Stark. It Another was Philippe, Philippe that was Stark design. Philippe Stark. Oh, so I mean, intimidating. I, I, I always, I always, what is that? Do you even go in by the yeah. door? Like nobody well, knew what the fuck well, it was. Right. So <laughs> they just knew. I tell them the great story about <laughs> so that. Crazy. You know, and shout out to Ingrid if she watches. And 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 you had to wait to get in. Remember? <gasps> yeah, please, in brother. Oh, imagine doing that now. Yeah. Listen, the, the good thing about it is, in 2003, I proposed marriage to my wife at the Blue Door. So imagine going back to that situation. Wow. So at 2003, I proposed marriage. I got engaged at the Delano with wow. for, for I was, my wife. 2003, I had um, I had my, my one of my favorite places. It was called Roomy. Yeah, that, we were just talking about that a little while ago. Get, get, I'm, get, I'm, getting, I'm getting goosebumps yeah, again. I think you yeah. gave us the Friday. Was, well, I was working uh, with Smack back then. Oh, uh, yeah. Bo, and I think they had a Friday nights there. <laughs> yep. And on the back end of Roomy, kind of like not fading, but you know, slow down. Yeah, and stuff of course. Like that. A, a mansion had opened up. Mansion had opened up. Uh, what's the name of the They called it before 11. Um, um, the number that Prince gave him, what was it? Oh, yeah. Glam Slam? Glam Slam. Glam Slam. Was, before was, that was 1235. 1235. That was 1235. Yeah. I used to go and I would, at 12, uh, 18 nights. Towards the end of the night. And they're like, How are we paying you to promote room if you're yeah. at a fucking mansion? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, but again, there, there you go with the fact of what we're talking about, how you've incorporated... And one of your visions was, I, I want to get back into this again because I want to bring, I want to bring that back a it's, little bit. It, it's, it's a much in a new version. Yes, in look, a it's new. a much more complicated space now. Yeah, there's a million places opening up. Uh, you've got great, really incredible operators coming from all over the world. Yeah, and even locally, look. You know, we joke around about some of these guys. Like, the, like you know, you look at a guy like Dave. These guys have done an amazing job. There's people Absolutely. that have done, like, really helped elevate what Absolutely. Miami is. Absolutely. Look, you guys remember this. For so many years, people would make fun of our hospitality. They did. It, it's not San Francisco. It's not it's L.A. Yes. It's not New York. So it's not top. Chicago. Yeah. You know, we blew them look, all away already. Now, look, 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 you got to give credit where credit's due. Look at a guy like Lee Schrager. Yeah, that guy sure. came in, yeah. you know, I mean, he was from here for many years, but with, with the festival, it elevated oh, yeah. that People world. Yep. They talk you know. shit about, oh, it's not going to be like New York's food and wine. Of course. There's no way, there's no good restaurants here. And now what? Now you have everybody here. Like no, nobody nobody, nobody no, wants to Everybody go. wants to be in Miami Everybody's now. Everybody's here now. Yeah. I had a call yesterday with a great chef, one of, a guy that was one of the leaders in Love San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. One of the leaders in San Francisco's chef. And he's like, he's like, Alan, I, I'd love to come to Miami now. You know, there you go. I mean, this is what's happened, and this is what's happening. How important do you think it is to have good food, though? Because some of these places, they're let's stand on your table kind of restaurant, right? Like you guys are but but when it comes to Giselle, I know you got service. The we talked about service and the food because the food is there. Because the thing yeah. for me and us is like we still like to party, but we like to have dinner and then maybe move a chair and become a lounge. Right, and that's the vibe that we like. Absolutely, yes. So Absolutely. the food is super important, and I think Giselle is just that, like. Yeah, you're going to get all of the over-the-top stuff, and the ladies are going to want to take their pictures, but right. the food is good. Right. So once me and him eat it, we're good. Whatever the girls want to do. Sure, it, sure. It's, it's, I, it lends itself to look, that, too. One of the things that I, I 
when I when when Tim and I chatted, I said I, I remember this conversation. I said, Tim, we have to build a place that the food service and the experience stands alone. I don't want it to be, you know, it's not just because like this celebrity was there or it's not just because we're on top of 11. Like it needs to be where every plate is done with integrity and it's in, and like it's it's incredible. You yeah. want to have it again. You want to come back for that of for course, that, of you know, course. Do we for that address plate. haters or do we ignore them. Look, I think oh. the look the world's so changed. They're part of our show, they're part of oh, restaurant. Well, of they're course, of course. Well, I, I always say to the haters, they don't have to watch this. I mean, I don't. They, no, 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 they can I'm stop saying, watching. You know, they don't care. But I'm just saying, we don't give a shit. But I'm saying, yeah. in the restaurant business, like, how do you handle? There's those? always going to be. Well, there's a few. The, so what you just said, there, there's a few parts of this that that have popped into my mind. One is the people that are in the industry. So what eight and a half years I wasn't working, I was still going out to everybody's place. Yeah. It, 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 it upsets me and the ego is, you know, there's a lot of ego in this, in this business that so many of these people haven't come to my place. And I mean it. It's like it makes me sad a little right. bit. Like Nicola and Chris Basio, they came. But there's so many of these other guys that I supported. I go to their places. I've gone. Which that it, sucks. It because sucks. at the end of the day. It sucks. And they haven't come right. to mine. Because at the end, end of the day, and I, think, sure. I say it to them. I'm like, wow. When I run it, oh, wow, you haven't been to Rosa Sky still? Or Giselle? What? Yeah. You know, but. Anyway, the other side of that is the critics. You know, because we're on top of 11, it doesn't get a fair sort of um, sure, right. opportunity to really, like, tell, me, tell, tell people, like, what the experience is like it really is. Forget that you're on top of 11. But, look, people keep coming back. And if you, you know, you look at Google reviews and some of, like, the real people that come, and it speaks for itself, you know. I think so. And I it's not, look, it, nothing's perfect. We still have work to do. Of course. Gustavo's working on the menu always. You know. Which that's so important. I, I believe in that. He's a good chef. I've been constant, always changing up the stuff. For sure. Because that's what makes people even want to come back for That's more. right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, now you got to do it. You can't you, sit still. You got to do it. Which some other people do, by the way. Yeah. They get comfortable with the menus right. that they have. And they say, well, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's right. Which is totally incorrect. Yeah. Look, you know? we just did a redesign on Rosa Sky. People sometimes don't even notice that there's been a difference, a but like here a little tweaking there. Did you get rid of the cigars? No, that, that's I'm still sorry. on the menu. <laughs> but like wallpapers changed and a mural has changed and okay. we have a whole new furniture coming in. People I need, Chef Andres people need new pictures for selfies. That's right. You Chef Andres, he's the, he's the truth. He's, he's amazing. He's the truth. He's yeah. the truth. You need new ones. One of the you best tuna tartars I've ever had in my life. <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, anything else that we don't know about? Anything new you might be hiding there's, from us? There's stuff coming. Um, locally, we, um, we're doing a speakeasy in Coconut Grove. Okay. What? Breaking what news? What is Breaking what? news. Oh, no. There's a working name. Are we but... beating the bloggers here, Manny, to the news? <laughs> yes, you are. Um, <laughs> Sneak peek. Ben, you're rolling on that one? <laughs> and we're, we're, we have a, um, a rooftop concept that we're doing in Wynwood also. Love the, yeah. I'm, I'm a true I believer you, in the rooftop. I love the rooftop was He was, he, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was asleep. He was, I, I'll have to come back he for, was asleep. To, 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 for to, sure. to announce the name. Sure. But, um, but yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 6,000 square foot space. About I have the same one. time. I have a better one. We'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll take the show. I love that. Yes. We'll take the show to the rooftop yes. and we'll, yes. we'll, we'll yes. say the name live right there. Done. on yes. a day in Miami Done. on the podcast. I love that. Done. When you're ready for the, when Done. you're ready for the name, wow. we'll Thank do you. it over there. I will go ahead and move. The producer's looking at me. I will move. Ben, we'll move all no worry, this. Over there make sure to the, the Wi-Fi is working. We're going to no feed you. We'll, we'll feed you, Ben. <laughs> so Winwood, we'll we'll, live, the, the Winwood concept will open up in about a year. Yeah. Restaurant bar. And the Grove? I love and it. And the Grove will be about a year and a half. They're building. Okay. It's going in two great places. Like, you have the location already in Yes. Is it like in the heart or like on the outskirts? It's in the heart. Are the roads okay. fixed already in that area? They're, they're fixed there they, now. They, they should be. No, they should be. They have fixed it's a, a little new, bit. It's a new property you know that went we're gonna get. We're going to get the mayor here next week. You know we'll, what? I, we'll put him on the spot. Yes. And then I'm a little bit if y'all are Winwood. If my boy has a place in Winwood, I will be there, but... Man, to like roll up to a pasties, beautiful restaurant, but you gotta like you know. look. Everything's changing, you know. Look, I just look at all the Jennifer, development. I, I, I want them to fix it like they did. They're fixing. Litter. They're fixing. And just you know, what I'm saying like, don't kick nobody out of the hood and all that bullshit. Yeah. But just get those spray painted walls out already, bro. Like that was okay. Oh, no, like, but that's what like, built that's that space. Part of the, that's part of the entire lore. Yeah, but okay. But let's modernize the building and then spray. Well, they are not a garage there with a door open falling apart and right. there's like six. No, well, it's changing. To get to the restaurant. It's changing. I think. Think it about is. all the apartments that are opening uh, right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, well, on the, when, on, on when the, was in another transition now too? For by sure. The way. You know, look at I the mean, grove. look at the grove. How no, nice no, it's gone. But but here's again. 
the Grove should be how it is because the Grove used to always be spectacular. I mean, yes. my, in our time, the Grove was always spectacular. Yes. I grew up in the Grove. I yeah. mean, the, be the savior of the hood. Is that what well, you're me. Save the hood with the new I think maybe. there's great spots there though. Maybe. Now I think maybe. it's changed yeah. drastically. Like I think I remember. You know, not long ago, talking to one of the biggest developers there and saying to him, we need more restaurants here. Like, what, what are you doing? Well, and we, but need now to, and we need to keep it open at a certain time because now also, you know, they're closing at a certain time also. Well, it's way. supposed to, it's, it's been 3 a.m. for a while. Yeah, yeah but, but then the restaurants and stuff like that, the some roads, of them have been closing everything. Right. Well, at a certain time frame. I think, look, I think as, as, as the next uh, phase of Wynwood will be, it, it will be evolving, even more, it, yeah, it, it'll be even more dense with people yeah. because there's like, 2,000 units opening up, apartment rentals, like 2,000, 2,500, like said, you know, like little by little. Those roads they will. But and I got a but, truck, and I got a truck, but they're murdered. But listen, it, it's, happening because <laughs> every, it's happening because everybody that comes to Miami, one of the first places they want to visit is Wynwood. That's right. They want to visit the Wynwood. They want to see the art. They want to see yeah. the graffiti. It's things that, you know, I mean, it's a very go special to New York, place. now we're on the underline to go mm, see what, right. you know, so now people like all this, all this different stuff. Now, to your point, Kiko, and you're right. You know what? We we, we gotta we gotta go and ask Public Works what the hell is going on with the roads in the City of Miami. Do you go eat in Wynwood? I have. When was the last time I have. you went? Um, well, you don't have to name the restaurant. No, but we went. Uh, my daughter had a competition around the area, <laughs> and we ended up at a at a at a restaurant there. But it was because I was in the area because how of the competition was the whole of music experience of eating in Wynwood with the uh, situation in. It, listen, I was. What do you think? You're talking we about like the of security of the area? No, no, no. I'm talking about structure. Just the streets yeah. alone. Yeah, like going to a restaurant, beautiful restaurant. There's no parking. Or, 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 yes, or, or, that is or, or, that is. Jog to your car. You, you have to. Jog I have to, to your go car like a block away. away, brother. Ain't nobody gonna jump me. Right. right. I have to go but a block I got away. A group of girls and they're a little bit further down. Yeah. Like, it's like yes. You, know, you have to get go a little quick space and get inside quick. No, look. There's been a few garages that have gone up, but they need to build some more. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I'm saying. Structure wise, I mean, I I know the whole thing, and and like I said, you want to keep that genre. Look, South Beach. South Beach was the same thing. You remember that? Right. There were there were no parking garages. No parking garages. And then all of a sudden, I don't think anybody that at least. His own thing goes to South Beach anymore. Now they do something. I'm talking about years no, back. No, but he's talking about, okay, I'm talking about years, years back. Okay. When South Beach used to, yeah, right. South Beach used to be like that. That's right. right. Listen, South, I couldn't find you know, parking I'm anywhere. Go back to this, if I would have to lie to my parents if I was going to South Beach because <laughs> I would tell my parents, you know, I, that's I far. That's far. Yeah, that's I was far. going to South Beach. What are you crazy? Right. You know, I would lie. I was saying we were going to the Grove, yeah. but to your point. That's how you know, and then right. look at South Beach now. Look, everything changes. One, yeah. one, 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 of the, one. But me, pressure's important. I think people go to Sunset Harbor and say? went to the beach. That the, the fact of keeping the pressure on the city of For Miami sure, and absolutely. stuff like that, like you know, you gotta you gotta or do Little Havana, parkings. same thing. Like yeah. you know, like it's nice restaurants and there's trash like everywhere, bro. Yeah, it's true. But one of the things you know, we, we're we're talking about Miami and the sort of evolution where it's gone. And, I, and, and we were just talking about this, but we, people always say, like, what it used to be like, how great yeah. it was. It was great. There was a moment that will never exist again. And I, I see all these people. There, there's documentaries being made on the 90s right. in Miami. Right. Billy it, hasn't called right. you? Yeah. Is Billy he doing another one? I know Billy. Billy, Billy, if you're watching, this guy is a whole record book of everything in Miami. He's a documentary himself. Forget about Griselda. But, 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 but think about where we are now. There's so many different areas it's okay. like a little man like, what do you like that's improved and what do you don't like that we've lost is that a good question Manny? well uh, okay. what do you like about what's happened and what well obviously think improved we- he's opening up in winwood <laughs> so so i love what what's happened I'm just saying the overall yeah feel. So, so so overall like so so i love I, I love that there's sort of different neighborhoods now that like are we in dubai yeah. coming in the future like where we're gonna have to like add Land with sand boats and stuff, and look, it's just know. going up right because you saw the demographic of what it's going to be in like what 10 years, it's going to be like another 20 buildings, right? Like, are you even going to be able to get it to Brickle? Let's look, think about no traffic is going to be flooding, you're going to fly into with it. the weight of these buildings. With the flying traffic, cars. the traffic is going to be. I actually today I was listening to <laughs> 91.3 and they were talking about the car that they goes have, up. There's I, one I, have, now. I have the company that's doing it, I know them very well. Yeah, they're they're doing like the, the cars, 50 years, it's like 10 years. Like, we're going to be totally alive and healthy to see this. I won't be. Flying like the, the car, Jetsons. Buddy. No, but like, yeah. think about it. Getting into Brickle, bro, after Ultra, there's no way, right? Already, crazy, already. Crazy, Imagine another crazy, 10 crazy, years. Crazy. My brother lives in Flat Iron. Right. And for him to come to Palmetto Bay, he's like, well, you're crazy. I ain't going out there. Why go? Right. Why? Because I don't want to get out of my building. I yeah. Know. But to his point, and what you're talking about, to Kiko's point, the places that you feel that are, are up and coming. Look, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of um, already what is all the neighborhoods, of, like Wynwood, Design District. To yeah. me, Design District is one of the coolest 
places that exist in the world. Yes. The architecture there and what, 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 I know, what, but how many people just drive out and don't get down because they're intimidated again, right? But what's it about what? It's so nice to walk around. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying yeah. you got to go shopping at every Correct. place. Correct. But it's the idea that it you exists. You can window shop. That's right. I mean, Look, New it's York, not you can the window shop. Like five, it's well, not, there's, no, there, yeah, it's and there's started, valet in every corner, right, by the way. Right. So that's not there's the issue. There's valet in every corner. That's not the issue. Yeah, it's true. But, yeah. but I, I, I'm a big... Look, the, 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 the one area I really love, and I'm looking for space there now. Tell is, us. Wait, yeah, wait, wait. I'm happy to say it. I'm a big fan of our downtown Miami area. I think... I think and, between okay. First Street and 14th Street. And I agree with like you. That whole entire area, like what's happening around 11 and even in between and then in, and then south of that, you know, the, Fed, you know, the, yeah. the Flagler, et cetera. That's going to be a whole other area. But five now years let me go now. to Kiko's point. Okay. Now, now I'm going to do, I'm Traffic with you. Is a disaster. No, yes. no, but I'm going to go to, bro, number and there's one, no that, parking. Number one you know, uh, Flagler has been closed for you. almost three years. I mean, the Seabill yeah. Bill, you can't even get to it. I know. But anyway, but at the end of the day, what I'm trying to explain to you is I, I agree with you. 100% that downtown Miami where does everybody every, everybody go when you go to place? Nobody. let me go to downtown let me go to downtown nobody wants to go to downtown nobody's going to downtown that's what I'm saying especially in the next two years because of the construction with the clean, bridge and the web and you and gotta clean a little bit of the downtown you do. area you do are you talking about walking zombies walking zombies and the whole thing and, well, and, and our governor just and we have gotta, and we have great and we have, listen, homeless, right? and we have great organizations in Miami we have spectacular organizations in Miami to take care of that. Moshe Mana park, needs park. to like step up. Already. Well, but supposedly like, he you is. Know, supposedly Look, I he met is. with him a few weeks ago. You know, okay? supposedly he is. And, 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 and I hope he is because he owns so much property and he's got to yeah. be pressured by, you know, the government, et cetera. But like, you know, apparently he's now got that he said that, now. I want to bring in and, and that's, you, you just gave me the best idea. We're going to bring in, I'm going to bring in the rep from the downtown authority. The downtown authority, which they're the ones heading all this yeah. stuff, and we, we we can let's put them on the podcast yes. and find out where what are we? what are they doing? We're going because to your right. point, you've got people restaurant tours like him that would love to open in in, in downtown Miami, but they're 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 hesitant. It's that world center area. Listen, I have three you people know. that own restaurants in downtown. They've been open a year and a half, almost two years, and I have like six messages. They brought. What are you finally going to come? Is I'm scared. Who's Go with the I family. Have, I have one or two that is your best restaurant not, not there, by the way. I'm not talking about scared really, about no. the parking situation. Right. How am I going to get to it? I have another buddy of mine that's got this beautiful little food spot. Bro, you got to walk over two homeless people and zero where to park. He's never going to make it because it's not theory, like I'm saying. Right. You know, and now with the construction, but the there's more help. people living there now. There is. There, you, 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 you walk around that, or you drive through it. You, you have you the area right there of all the apartments are right next to the arena. And yeah, there's I a mean, ton. You're about, you, you got Look, the backpacks that live yet. It's not 10 perfect away. yet. Right. It's not perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect yet. But as time continues, I think it's going to get better. Oh, totally I, I, evolve. Yeah, and yes. I, like yeah. I said, I think well, there's new the projects in the underline. It's going to help a lot too. Yes. And make it like a hospitable place, right? Because. What's the but last thing? Nobody's ever going to downtown to walk around. But that's what should right. be downtown Miami, especially yeah. like, again, like said, you're, like you're said, a block away from Bayside. You're right yeah. there next to, like, you know, multi that's a whole million dollars. Yeah, but that's multi million dollar, uh, you know, apartments that are living there. Right. Yeah. That they had downtown restaurants. Everybody would be walking Tier five just opened up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's right. And so, I mean, we shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Of we, look, I, I also want everybody to do it. Right. Yeah, for sure. You know, Emmy, sure. Emmy needs to come to one of my spots, too. Oh, okay. You should text him. No, no. Look at my podcast. Emmy, Emmy. Go to his Come spot. On, man. Come a little, on, have a little. Exactly. Emmy's just complicated. <laughs> what did you do for one kidding. year at Giselle? Was there a party that I missed? Did we miss that one year? You uh, did miss that one. I'm gonna go Friday. I'm going Friday. I don't know. I said it here. I'm gonna go Friday, but but how was it? There goes I my Friday pictures. plan. I I I won't go Friday now. Come on, we can Whatever you want. We should go together. I got Kiko's going on Friday. For for us, it was. Um, hey, ask for Alan. Tell him Kiko say. We uh we we celebrated the I year. See some pictures. We had a great time. Yeah. You know. It's so fun to sort of. I love throwing. I started off as a promoter, really. I mean, like that's you know, that's like for me, eighteen that's years the best old. Way, I threw my way. first party. I didn't go to college. Yeah, and right out of in high the school, college of Miami Beach. That, that was the college I went to. It was South Beach. I think there were good people all started as promoters. I did my promoting I mean, in my time. We didn't even so. know there was no name called promoter. I just it threw wasn't. parties. I threw. Well, that's what we know, did. We always had parties. flyers in our hand. <laughs> yeah, I always had. <laughs> Big flyers shout out to my other good partner, living in Washington now, which is Ricky. Oh, he Ricky and I, Ricky Menendez. Me and Ricky used to throw a lot of parties way back when. When Nick's in the beach was Nick's in the beach. Oh my god! We used to live at Val Rouge. Rouge. No, or no? Where was Nick? Nick's is where where where. No, he's talking about something else. Nick's and Nick's and it was Nick's on the beach. Nick's where no, no, no. That's Nick's on the beach. Nick's on the beach. Then it was a Monty's. Oh right, that's where, where that was. That right? was Nick's. Yeah, that yeah. was Nick's on the beach oh, every Friday okay, night, my brother. That's what I'm telling you. I'm kind of, I got a lot of hey, I didn't say he was four or five years old. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we used to do another one called La Rouge. 
which was spectacular yeah. with the I forgot right now the French guy what was his name spectacular Alan, tell, place. Tell, tell, tell our viewers one of your craziest South Beach stories Oh, God. You can leave names out, but just All something right. that happened tell, to you. I'll tell, and, I'll tell a story. I'll something tell a story. that Mr. and Mrs. X. So does everybody everybody knows who Wilt Chamberlain is? Sure. Yes. The guy who claimed to have had sex Did with over a thousand or over a thousand women, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. For all so bless reasons. I am um, 19 years old, and at the time there was a party. The original space that they did it it was it was in Mario's. Okay. Which later became. The boxing guy, uh, Mickey Rourke's. It Mickey became Rourke's, Rourke's place. Yeah. Before before it was Mickey Rourke's, it was called Mario's. And the party that started there was by these two guys out of New York. They came down to Miami, and it was called the Fat Black Pussycat. Oh, yeah. oh yes. God, so the yes. original Fat Black Pussycat, though. Jeez. So, I'm telling you, bro. Okay, I'm 19 you years see, old. You see, we're going to do a documentary on this. I 19 years old. Stories. And, and and really to get in there, you actually had to have a real password. They wouldn't let you yeah. in if you didn't have the yeah, password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Password time. Yes. Yeah. The coolest so show. it was the coolest. You had to go through the alley. Okay. So I, I got lucky enough. I found myself in there. And I'm sitting down at a table. And it's me. <laughs> I don't even know how I found myself. Me. Will Chamberlain. There was like a supermodel. A drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I, I still like to smoke some grass, some weed. I know he calls yeah, it grass that's, anymore. That's not a non-issue. Some weed. So I whip out a totally joint. Totally now. I whip out a joint, and the four of us are smoking this joint inside Mario's. And I had this outer body experience. Right? <laughs> I'm this like white Jewish kid. What type yeah. of weed was that? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> underage. Underage. <laughs> Nobody knew, though. <laughs> Nobody knew, but they were way stricter. And I, yes. I and I looked out, and I, it's it's literally with me, Will Chamberlain, a drag queen, and a and a fucking supermodel. Oh God. And I'm, I'm like, I'm what is to going this on? <laughs> what is happening this here is at this, this moment? Is did you and experience one of his one thousand times? Or no? I did it. I did it. Did you view that? <laughs> hey, I'm open minded, but not that open minded. <laughs> but it was a uh, that for me. You know, when we talk about history and South Beach, like yeah. that was the that was it. That was nobody. Crazy. There were was, no one cared about taking pictures. No, that didn't exist. Like, we had a next like, No one cared Not about even, like putting the, the celebrity on the picture with there you. There was maybe and, beepers. You know, there was no. just maybe recognize beepers. somebody and and make that moment for yourself. That was and it. That's it. terrible. The only that way moment. that existed, if you really had a photographer, you would have on time. But right. nobody, yeah. there was, yeah. nothing existed. Sure. It was another life. Yeah. I mean, listen, you see these things now happening. I mean. Even in 2000 and 2001, 2003, like when Rumi existed, you know, we had so many celebrities from Bill Clinton. Janet Jackson used to come all the time. J-Lo used to yeah. text me and say, can I come in tonight? Yeah. And we'd bring her. You know, there, were, there were thousands of people she that was, were there. I think of dating Ben the first time. Yeah. No, she, uh, was that I can tell you. Who Actually, she at was. that time she was always with Mark too. She was before she was Mark, and she also then went out. She was with, with that the, handsome guy, the dancer, uh, the, dancer the dancer guy, also. Judd. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Judd. Before, remember, she met the guy. The she met the waiter in in Gloria and Emilio's place yeah, yeah. in Lario's yeah, when it was in the how beach. How incredible is she, huh? Yeah, no, no. I think that J-Lo's woman. Great. Yeah, she I think is she's great. beautiful. She's cool. beautiful. J-Lo? She's still. Yeah, she's great. I think she's. I'm, I'm gonna reserve my comments. Well, that's fine. I mean, but you can't you can't take away. I don't know how we're gonna get to this J Lo conversation. But at the end of the day, I can't. You know, you can't take away the sex appeal and everything that J Lo has. Yeah. Anyway, listen to yeah. me. We um, this has been great. I mean, we want to tell all of our damn Miami folks. Listen, yes, congratulations, Rosa Sky, Rosa Sky, Thank you. Giselle, Giselle. The you gotta go coming. try. And 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 keep it in mind, Winwood. we're gonna do the big reveal of the name Deal. of Winwood. Yes, Deal. I'll be there Friday at Giselle. I'm gonna go by and uh, do some, and we're gonna do another we're year do another anniversary podcast. content. We're gonna do Let's one do that we're gonna call "Remembering the '80s and '90s." Let's do Tell the you, '90s. Man. Let's do the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> Not too deep. I mean, I was a kid okay. still, you know, late '80s, yes. and the '90s. We can yeah. do a part. Listen, you guys. 1988, love it. my first job. You're gonna love it, really. You're gonna love it. I was ten. News Cafe, Mark Soika. Hey, Alan, I want to thank you for Always. coming, man. Thank I know you you're a busy guy. Thank you. Time for us, Manny. As always, in your house. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? And Thank you, uh, go check out Giselle. Don't be intimidated. That's it. And Rosa Sky, if you got a girl, that's brand new be. stuff. Brand new stuff. Go take your new selfies at Rosa Sky. Tell them, get your <laughs> See you in the next one. Thank you, guys. That was fun.